friends Brian Cook here and wanted to shoot a video about a question I got asked from somebody on my team today that I thought was pretty powerful. Um, Glenn asked me, hey Brian, what did you change about your mindset, attitude, or philosophy that enabled you to become elite? Just in case you don't know what elite is, it's about nine promotions in um, our company and it's considered basically the point the point one percent of uh, of a company based on performance and volume so the first thing that happened for me and uh... is that i had to make a decision that i wanted something different i was a police officer in a city that i didn't like around most people that i didn't like doing a job that i absolutely did not like and it wasn't until i was given the the gift of network marketing did I know there was anything else out there because even at the time I thought if I wanted something different I'd have to go to college or I'd have to become a pilot and it wasn't until this gift was really given to my then girlfriend now wife who I got to watch see make things happen before I joined going on um, next month will be 10 years so that gift is something I took and I cherished and I honored and what I did is I had a very powerful why in the beginning my why was to get out of that city get out of that job get into a healthy environment and be a full-time parent to raise my son Jordan. That was my first um, first mindset that changed. So basically what I was is I was just driven to get out of that job, replace an income. It took me 16 months, which I think is uh, for where I was at was fast mentally because I didn't like people. I was very um, cold from being a, a police officer, didn't have a lot of faith, faith in other humans, very cynical. So I think 16 months to work on myself, start reading books and uh, talking to people was the first step. So what I did back then, I said, you know, I can't go to bed unless I talk to two people a day and that's what I did. And then Michelle, myself and my son uprooted out of Memphis, got into California and then I hit another wall. That wall was uh, I didn't have that strong why anymore. I didn't have that philosophy of I had to get out of there. I actually got into kind of a lazy mode. And it wasn't until I had to take a job. So I was making, as a police officer, making pretty good money and then took a job working at a golf course because I wasn't bringing income in the family. I watched my team just shoot, skyrocket that check that I went up here, went back down here. So I got involved into an accountability group and dived in and uh, made a decision that I was going to win that accountability group and you got points on how many people you prospected every single day and what I did is I just prospected I, uh, I did a lot of cold calling I did a lot of cold calling professionals talked to a lot of realtors and people in, in the sales like radio sales or TV sales uh, insurance agents and would just literally prospect 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 and I remember one day that I, I uh, maybe got weak or you know took it personally these no's and walked into Michelle's office and said I you know probably with about a tear in my eye and I said I, don't, I just I, don't, I can't do this anymore this sucks people are telling me no they're being mean they're saying rude things and she said you know you gotta put your big boy panties on and make a decision because you can either do this or you can walk down to the police precinct put in an application be a cop again and man that kinda like shook me awake and I said you know what you're right I'd rather do this any day of the week talk to strangers versus get back in a cruiser, you know, gun on the side and shagging calls. So that was a wake up call. And then after that, I just made a decision really that I was going to work so hard on myself. I was going to, you know, I took Jim Rohn's advice, work harder on yourself than you do your job, work harder on yourself than you do your prof profession. I really dived into personal development, but what a lot of people don't do is they think if they're diving into personal development, they're building their business or not. You've got to be talking to at least two to five people a day about your business if you really want change in your life. That's the no BS answer. Um, one's not enough. It's two to five. No matter what, every day of the week. Take, you know, take Sundays off, day of Sabbath. Take a day off during the week. But six days a week, just picture if you talk to two people a day, that's 12 people a week, right? I'm not good at math, but I know that's 48 people a month right and then I know that's about 500 and some people a year so that's what it takes to go to the next level when you're doing that when you're actively prospecting when you're in the personal development you're gonna learn the skills how to close how to be better at asking questions and your attitude has to always be positive you gotta get away from those naysayers and negative people the people that say you can't do it or just you know that complain all the time and don't take action or tell you what you should do when you didn't ask them you know those type right get away from those people and then you gotta set your philosophy to a wealth philosophy you gotta have a philosophy 
and an attitude that you deserve greatness and that the more you earn, the more you can give away. So the more people you can help. And our job is to help people that we do sponsor into our business to have success, whatever that is to them. So it's that's the philosophy. My philosophy is I will win no matter what. And what win means take is taking care of my family. And when we go family, I'm just not talking like Michelle. I'm not talking my parents. I'm talking people that believe in me and I believe in them. That to me is family. Right there is the family that we need to work with. So my philosophy is I want to change the world by helping as many people I, I can get what they want. Because not everybody wants what I want. Remember, Michelle was time poor. She made over a hundred grand a year, but she had no time. And I was financially strapped, raising a son by myself, making about forty-five, fifty thousand dollars a year, and had no direction of just showing up to a job, get shot at, get fight with people. So my philosophy is: is how can I help the most people? And that is with this beautiful industry, network marketing. I can show people how to get what they want. So that's the first key is finding people uh, that know what they want and help them. So going back to your original question, Glenn, is you've got to decide what you want, and then you got to be you got to decide decide what are you willing to do to go get that. And it starts with sharing your business. Again, let me say it again: sharing your business with at least two people a day. Now there's 340, 360 million people in the United States. There's a lot in Canada. There's a lot in Mexico. Right where we're at in North America, there's a ton of people to talk to. Let's just say 500 million. If you talk to 10% of those people, you will drastically change your life. So maybe in the next video, we'll talk about where you find these people. But the first place to go is your phone. The average person has over 100 people on their phone. If you just call them up say, you know what? I made a decision today that I'm going to change my philosophy. I'm going to go get what I want. I'm going to help people. And I just want to know if, if you want to join me in the journey of helping you get what you want. And if it is, let me show you what I'm the vehicle I found to get me where I want to go. So, Glenn, I hope that answers your question. Everybody, I always appreciate you watching the videos, your comments. I know a lot of you took the challenge last week about not being negative, having a positive attitude, turning off the TV, the radio, the negative computer. And I hope that's going well. And I'm excited, excited for what 2015 has to offer for all of us. Remember, there's opportunity out there everywhere. You just got to have these open looking for it. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next blog post. Please comment below. I love your comments and share this on Facebook so other people can get something out of it as well. Have an amazing day.